Hello! It worked first time, I was slightly worried it was gonna just break on me again. But we are live, hello, hello everyone, welcome. I'm slightly late because I got a little bit distracted talking about Chernobyl because of the TV show, obviously. Everyone's talking about Chernobyl again. Chernobyl memes are in. It's the new thing. I got slightly distracted. Talk about how terrible it was. Welcome everyone! We're playing Factorio, which also contains nuclear reactors, therefore it was relevant. Oh, is it because of the... Because <laughs> everyone saw my Lego stream. YouTube's now suggesting them weird stuff for kids. Because I guess that's one of the key words that is... Uh, kid fav like... Kids favorite videos. Or kid-friendly videos. Chernobyl memes have a half-life of 12,000 years. They will keep memeing for the rest of, of our lifetimes. I have built a nuclear reactor on Boom World, indeed. We, we, sh we shall go see it momentarily. But welcome everyone, welcome to the stream. We're playing Factorio today. Factorio, Ribbon World. If you haven't seen it before, it's where the world is a ribbon. Easy. Sorted. That's all you need to know. You know what I should do? I should announce this stream in the various places where I'm meant to announce it. Why is... Oh, YouTube's doing that thing again where, where it says I'm on Amber. Something's wrong. But I bet it won't tell me what. Amber alert, stream is Bork, except it's not. We haven't dropped a single frame, which is honestly unusual for us. Let's do a tweet. I am a professional. I know what I'm doing. Doop, did it. It's of course linked to the Barotrauma stream because of course it has. <sighs> and then Discord. Go do that one too. I'm just going to yell Factorio Raven World and link it. They'll, they'll, they'll know. They'll understand. I should probably at everyone there. There we go. Dead it. I know what I'm doing. I remember what order to do the various things I do on the internet is. There we go. Since the blind spot thing, I've just been occasionally finding your blind spot and your head now hurts less when you do. Oh, okay. Oh, I, you've got used to it, I see. Yeah, once you know the blind spot's there and once you kind of understand it, it becomes more normal. And you're like, yeah, I guess that's just how my eyes work. And normally it doesn't matter because you have two eyes and they cover each other's blind spots. But anyone with one eye needs to bear that in mind that there's genuinely a chunk of their vision that is lying and is just filled in with surrounding colour to make them think it's not there. And so they need to be careful what they look at. Actually, I think it's a problem for reading. I think if your... Yeah, I think if your left eye is is gone for some reason, if you've only got your right eye for seeing, I think it actually makes reading sometimes awkward for people because the blind spot's to the right of the vision, so further along the line of what they're reading. I don't know if it actually comes into play enough to be a serious problem, I need, now need to find a piece of paper and, and try this. Oh yeah, that, yep. If I, if I like, hold a piece of A4 paper a bit from my face and I look at the first word in a line, the blind spot is in the middle of the line. That's a real problem for one-eyed people and reading. Uh, 
Ah yes, Jolly Fox dot Foxtrot just finished today. Oh no, you were Peachy's regiment? Did you survive? Did any of you live? Did you, was it a gun to two men? How did it go? Oh dear. A couple of days ago, you noticed you couldn't see colour at the edge of your vision and it really freaked you out. That's interesting. I've never noticed that myself. I know there's probably ways of finding it out, but I've never really tried, so I've never noticed it. As far as I can tell, I seem to see colour on the edges, but I know that, by definition, I don't. I just don't know what the tests are for it, so... Maybe at some point, maybe I'll, I'll try that. That'll be fun. Work out what the test is. Also, thank you very much, Death's Heart 666 Black, for that $5 super chat. Very much appreciated. And thank you very much, Mark, for that $5 super chat. To Bentham, I just lost the game. Super chat is appreciated, but why would you do this to us, Mark? Why, Mark? Why? You've, you've doomed us all, Mark. But thank you very much, Death's Heart 666 Black and Mark, for those synchronized $5 super chats. Very nicely done. And indeed, we've all lost lost the game. He had a bomb swim, a bomb squig nom your leg. I that was surprisingly hard for my brain to parse. We tried to steal a lot of gear. One person got gunned down by a killer can. We haven't even marched off to the battle yet. <laughs> Sounds about right. You survived the bomb squig, but the killer can might kill you next episode. Oh dear. Oh Peachy's regiment. Oh no. Well then, shall we get to the game? I think we shall. Here we go. Load game. 55 and a half hours in. And, oh yeah, there has been a little bit of a visual update. We can have a look at this. Doop. Here we are on the map, and the thing that is different is the ore. Look at this. It's all kind of more continuous looking now. Instead of one single duplicated uh, art thing over and over... It's now a bunch of differently arranged sprites that all kind of merge together a little bit better. And when it's not moving and you'd see the, the sides, it looks a lot more like just a continuous full belt of ore. Like the coal one looks like it's just covered in little chunks. With this, not so much because the halves are moving independently. <laughs> I can't kill a killer can with just two knives. You, you, not with that attitude, you can't. I was in a regiment. I was in. I was in the first couple episodes of Charlie Foxtrot, and uh, we were the regiment that had all the guns. We had so many guns. It was great. I went. I was a standard bearer with a chainsaw and a las carbine, and we wrecked face because because we 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 were lucky. The Peachy Regiment was not lucky. I think we stole their guns. It's not shiny so much, maybe. But it's more or like. <laughs> and thank you very much, Tim H, for that two dollar super chat, crunchy or crunchiest of ores. <laughs> that means we are at least a uh, Tim one. I haven't I'm paid attention to the Tim levels. There may be other Tims, but thank you very much, Tim H. And welcome everyone to the stream. And thank you very much, uh, Wolfsmith, for that $2 super chat. Stalker Call of the Movie? I think it'd be cool. What? I'm confused, but thank you very much for the $2 super chat. I'm liking the, the synchronized system we've got here. Everyone keeps... Uh, doing super chats in pairs. We had two fives and two twos. Don't stand bears have a higher death rate. Yeah, but I'm awesome, you see. And also I had a chain sword. Okay, we are at Timothy 2. We have a, a Timothy week here. Veek. I think it's Veek. Okay, and we can look at all the ore stuff here, maybe? Oh no, we can't here, because that's the crafting menu. Uh, if we look in, like... Oh, there we go, there's stone and coal. They look a bit, like, bitty, actually. Like, there's a little... 
little jagged bits around the edge. I feel like that particular set of icons needs touching up a smidge. And also thank you very much to Sebastian Moreno. There's the gold coins. There goes everything. Coins everywhere. Some of the bronzes have survived. The bronzes have held their ground and some of the silvers too. They're holding, but the golds are taking over. But thank you very much, Sebastian Moreno, for those 129 DKK. Thank you for what you do. Warhammer Heresy, Rim World, Varotrauma, well, everything. Keep it up. Keep it... What? I missed a line. Well, everything, watching it all, but uh, bit by bit, keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Sebastian Moreno. Greatly appreciated. I don't even know which one. Is that, is that... I think that's Danish. I feel like that's Danish. We've been through this before. Danish Krona. Or Kroner. Or Krone. One of them. <laughs> Your sub is coming along nicely. Is anything I'd like seeing it? Um, I can't think of anything off the top of my head to put in the submarine. I'm sure I will later when it's too late, though. I don't know. Maybe, like, a couple more spotlights to look around the ship with? Or I guess you could just do that with guns if there's enough guns around the place to, to see outside. That kind of thing. Or a dual reactor setup, but I imagine you're not making a submarine that big. But that would be cool. But also, no point. Presumably. Um, I did plan to do some biter hunting in the east. That is one of the, the things we need to do today. Also, we have a stone issue. I made notes about what we need to fix, and stone was up there. I think it's the thing on the main bus that is broken right now. Oh, should we do the tour? we got to do the tour. It's traditional. So this is the ribbon world. It's a giant ribbon. It goes further. We just haven't explored there yet. On this side is barren wasteland because we destroyed everything. Then the railway starts, kind of. There's a wall. Oh, here, here we go. There's a defensive wall. Uh, here's our coal outpost. Still going strong. Um, our uranium outpost still clinging onto existence. Um, a huge copper outpost. A stone outpost that is rapidly dying and we urgently need to uh, make a replacement for. We got iron. We got copper. Then we got our oil outpost. Oil gets delivered in here and processed into fancy oil gubbins like plastic and sulfuric acid. Here's a whole bunch of trains trying to navigate around each other and making a right mess of it. Here's our nuclear reactor and also our parking area for our artillery train, newly built. Nuclear reactor's going well for the moment. We've got three reactors operating. A fourth may come along at some point. That one won't explode. Factoria reactors never explode, he says. Unless you mod them. Uh, and then some oil stuff and ammo production. Then we get to the main area where there's me and uh, someone loading stuff and st bits of steel production and basically random willy-nilly sections of stuff I haven't found anywhere else to put. Then we have the ear station where uh, various ores are delivered. I say various, it's copper and iron. So many different ores. Um, they go into the giant smelter area we have here and then they feed on into the main bus that processes all of the ores and various other things into all the little fiddly stuff I need to do various bits of science and so on and so forth. Then we get over here to our old defunct steel station, which still has steel in storage to provide to the rest of the factory, though that is running down at some point will cause a serious problem. And then we have lots of empty-ish wilderness until we get to the eastern defensive wall, which is under attack, and the biters that are attacking it. And today we're going to kill them. That's the plan. It's one of the things we're going to do today. Also stone we need. Is there any stone? Yes, there we go, there's some stone out there, 2.7 million of it. Then today, we're going to be building an outpost out there. There we go. It's going to be our other project for the day. Also, thank you very much, uh, Wolf Smith, for that $5 super chat. Mangled, I think you were the one that got me into Factorio. Thank you, I got some friends addicted now. Going to older versions really screws with me. Yep, it's uh, Factorio is an infection that spreads between people. I don't think they've ever done any of their own marketing whatsoever. They entirely spread through word of mouth. Um, for many years before they even went on Steam. It was literally just they, they sold fire, people suggesting it to other people because it was so popular and so enjoyable that everyone just told everyone else and it slowly infected the world. I learned about Factorio from Avac. I don't know where he got it from. We should trace this uh, particular line. 
I'm glad that you enjoy the game and that your uh, your friends presumably do as well. Dual reactor setup is a pain. It could easily overload part of it and explode. Is that true, though? Will it be any different than normal uh, reactor operation? When did this start? This started 15 minutes ago, uh, Johnny, so you're fine. If you want, you can go back and start watching from the beginning at double speed, and then you'll be caught up in 15 minutes. Explain to me how a Factorio reactor explodes. This guy gets the memes. This guy knows the, the Dyatlov memes. The hottest memes. 3.6 Rontgen. Not great, not terrible. Oh, they are doing some marketing now. Yeah, at this point, I, I, they do go to, like, conventions and stuff and have booths from time to time. That is a thing they do, I guess. But in the early days, they did nothing. It was literally just word of mouth. And it, it still succeeded, despite not even being on Steam, because it was that uh, addictive of a game that it could survive without it. And very few games can do that. Only the best. Factorio does indeed have magical powers to make time pass quicker. It's a real danger. Am I the only one who thinks this game should have boats and offshore oil rigs? Oh no, everyone thinks that. I'll admit I can see why it's not included. Like, it's not a critical element of the game. It doesn't make the core gameplay better. It's just an extra peripheral thing that you could have. It'd be nice to have it, but it's not, like, a game maker. It's not gonna make a massive difference, so I see why they didn't bother. But I like that there are mods that do that. Maybe I'll try one of them someday. Aha, I pronounced your name correctly. Did it. Oh, that's a phone. Oh dear. Um. Oh, I know what. I, I was asked a question. I didn't understand what was being said. But now I do. There we go. I have replied to the thing and remembered to mute my phone. We just had a science be done. What was the science? It was weapon shooting speed 6. The advantages of your stream lag being so high that you can check your uh, your YouTube stream output and look at 30 seconds ago. And now we're researching the atomic bomb. Excellent. I'm sure this won't go wrong at all. Yep, this is 64 tiles wide. You have an idea for a more modular train-based setup. Is it the one where one line goes on the bottom and one go line goes on the top? Because I definitely want to try that if I ever do another Ribbon World. Because that actually makes a hell of a lot of sense. But I can make this so that it uh, is smoother than currently. There are limitations. There's a certain amount of congestion that the system simply can't deal with. But I can mitigate a lot of what is happening right now. So that's one of the things on the docket for if we get everything else done, is maybe trying to improve elements of the rail network so that trains don't have to spend so much time waiting behind each other. Okay, we want to build a new stone outpost. That is the job for today, so we need to stock up on materials so that we can uh, we can get over there and build the whole damn thing. One of the things we'll need is stone, worryingly, the thing that we're short on. So we'll, uh, we'll have to be careful. See, is there any stone I can steal? Just yeah, off the end of the line is a good way to do it. Yeah, that'll cover us. Is that? Oh, it's all being dumped instantly because. Uh... Well, so, do we need that much? How far is the rail network? Uh, not far enough. We do need to extend the rail network. So. going to be a problem. The bots are going to steal all this off me and actually it's probably a bad idea. Oh, I forgot I've got rails being made. Whoops. Here, have some stone. Oh, that's not it. Well. Yep, here they are. They're taking it all away. I'll just have to let him. I'll work out a system later. 
Yeah, I know I passed over some stone, but I was gonna go get the stone that's actually sat not doing anything. Oh yeah, a thinner rail network could probably be made. By use of some smart wiggling of, of rails, but... I mean, one thing you can do is, is have this rail one closer with absolutely no issue. I might, I could have done it that way, it wouldn't have caused a problem. Honestly, should have, really, because the, the issue, like, the important thing is not um, keeping the stations thin, it's keeping the normal functioning rails thin, and that could definitely be one further down. Without any problem whatsoever. Part of the reason I kept it wider was so I could do stuff like put rubber ports in them and things like that, but really it wasn't worth it. I should have just uh, given myself two tiles more space along the entire length of the factory. Would have been able to do a little bit more stuff with a lot of my main bus things. But oh well. I made my bed. Got to lie in it. Oh. Auto mod caught things it shouldn't have caught. Oh yeah, and you had the idea of one line on each side of the uh, of the ribbon. Yep, that's the uh, that's a way of doing it because then you're using two tiles, uh, well four tiles total of the, the the sixty. You've got sixty tiles spare. As it is, I'm using eight. So yeah, it's, it's half. Can't get the station. Oh, maybe. Oh, I remember, yeah, I did try and have them thinner and it didn't quite work. It was something about, like, this signal here wouldn't sit on the rail properly because of how close things were. Maybe it was these ones here. There was something that got in the way. I imagine I probably could have overcome the issue, though, if I'd really cared, but I didn't. So, here we are. The tricky bit is stacking and unloading multiple resources for crafting nodes. Okay. Damn it! Every time someone, every time someone makes a comment talking about the, the the achievement, lazy bastard, that they get flagged. So I have to manually allow it. No, this stop saying it. I have to keep hitting the button every time. Oh dear. Right. So I don't need so many rails. I probably have enough. So that's fine. I need mining drills. I have those being crafted somewhere, right? Actually, maybe I don't because they changed. They changed the recipes. Yeah, I don't know I'm being made anymore. What do I have on me? Oh, I've got a ton on me already. That's probably enough. Blue belts. I'm pretty good, though. I always seem to hoover up blue belts normally. So let's get some extra just in case. I might have a limit on how many I'm allowed to carry, though. No, nope, apparently not. There we go. That should do it. Anything else? I feel like I'm already pretty well stocked, as it turns out. There's a couple of things I know I'll need. Train stop. Um, theoretically, I don't need a locomotive. I can just use the stone one we already have. Stop saying it! Why are you doing this to me? Doesn't work for you, Rick, because you're a mod. Oh dear. Alright, yeah. Um, oh, we'll need to establish a new wall. Uh, we'll have all the gear for it, actually. We can just move the currently existing wall up. That'll be fine. Yeah, I usually go out to these things and, and like, when I get there I'm missing a bunch of key materials, but this time I'm like, oh, no, I, I have that. No, I have that. I've got everything. There is one thing. Uh, stack and surges. Don't have so many of those. Oh, that didn't work. Yeah, that's the thing about stack and surges. They use all of the materials. What do we got? 45. Need some gears. Where are the gears? There they are. 
Bots are being too slow, doing my damn self. There. I think 50's enough. Theoretically. Oh, and then we'll need some replacement fast inserters. There we go. Oh, that's interesting. Some of them are being allowed. Now I'm really confused. Is it because you capitalized it? I I don't even know why I allowed that. Damn, I'm not using name. Rude. Very rude. Slight throughput cost is a decent pattern to handle unloading and loading. Yeah, I definitely want to see what uh, having the the north south rail system looks like. Or maybe I'll do that on a vertical ribbon. Except vertical ribbons are probably heresy. Because screens are wider than they are tall, so it would be dumb to do that. But I could. Probably shouldn't. It's just not a logical thing to do. I'm just going to set off because I feel like I have everything I need, actually. Race the train. I am as fast as it for a minute. It takes them a while to get up to speed. Oh, wow, this thing's still going. Yeah, it does take a while. Slowly burning through our supply of uranium. Maybe a bad idea, but it's only the crappy kind. Nobody cares anyway. We still have tons left. I feel like we've got enough to last the entire game. We're almost up to another stack. There we go. It's got the half-filled one there. Dragman is playing vertical bus right now. Oh no! Thank you very much, Wolf Smith, for that two dollar super chat. Rotate your screen when you do. I, I mean, I, I guess, I guess you could play Factorio in nineteen by six or what? Wait, six nine by sixteen. There we go, nine by sixteen. You could also play it in nineteen by six, presumably. But I don't know of a monitor of that size. I would totally do that, except the the videos wouldn't work. It'd be great for mobile. Apparently, we're we're at Tim level three. Oh, Timothy Sheffield is here. Welcome, Timothy Sheffield. We are at Tim Tim level three. I repeat, Tim three, three Tims, reaching critical amounts of Tim. Vertical Rim World was viable. It was valid in 0.16 because rocket silos were taller than they were wide, but not anymore. That's I'd never thought of that. That's brilliant. So you could have a like a ten wide ribbon and still be able to get past the uh, the rocket silo. Oh, sorry, yeah, Timothy. Tim Timothy level three is Timothy. Got to remember the proper terminology. Oh, do I not have any normal ammo anymore? Am I not requesting it? Oh, I'm not. I probably should, so I can put it in this box. Didn't think about that. Yep, I will request a singular stack. There we go. And then... I think I might actually use this train to get here. Wait, is the stone train around? Oh, it is! It is! Crap! Uh, mm, buttons! No, I got in this train! Huh? There we go. Though I realise this doesn't go all the way. It goes, like, halfway there. This doesn't work at all. Hang on, hop out. Oh, jeez. Okay. Forget there's a there's a layer essentially at the bottom of the map where if you stand exactly there you don't die but I think one pixel up and you do die to trains. There we go. I'm um, I'm just going to use the artillery train because we can also use it to uh, 
to destroy more biters and explore further than we have so far. It's a thing. Doop. On your way. Here we go. Yeah, I guess I could do a I could do a vertical ribbon world in nine by sixteen if everyone watching also flips their monitors on the side to watch the YouTube videos. Oh, you know what? We we may just have ourselves in a new April first series. <laughs> oh, I could totally do that. Oh, I could totally do that. Oh, this is gonna be dumb. Thank you very much, Wolf Smith, for that two dollar super chat. Local madman hops on train going hundreds of miles an hour. That's just the that's just the standard way of it, right? Uh, there's a link in in the description, uh, Sebastian Moreno, to my my Patreon. At least there should be. If there's not, then I've made a mistake. But there should be. Uh, well, there can be multiple April first uh, shows. I've had multiple before. A couple times, I think. At least once. Okay. We'll bring the railway fully out into the wilderness. And speaking of the Patreon, uh, there is a, a poll up on there right now that's running out very soon uh, for what game I should stream soon that I have streamed before but haven't in a while. That's the first of my what should I play votes on there. And there'll be many more to come. There's a couple days on that left and it will decide what I'm going to be streaming in a week or so. Probably in the Thursday slot, so at this time roughly. Though I might change the times because my sleep is better, though it may not stay better. So maybe I won't. <laughs> Depends. But uh, I, I've given people the choice of a couple different games that I've previously covered to uh, cover again. It's interesting that it's got no path. Apparently I managed to direct it to a, a bit of track that doesn't exist. Cool. Oh, it's trying to go to Reactor West. Oh, I shouldn't have deleted that. I was trying to make it move, but it, it wasn't moving because manual mode. Hang on, let me put that back. Reactor West. Go there and stay there, but don't right now, just be ready to. And if we advance a bit, the cannon should probably start firing again. Which actually is a terrible idea because we don't have any defenses here. Should think about this. Let's not be dumb. Am I out of rails? Damn it! <laughs> Thought I brought enough. Luckily, we have stone here. It's the one thing that we have. Alright, bit of light grenading. Just to get the stone uncovered. Around about here, because we'll have the station here. And then we put a bunch of miners in and we'll work out the rest later. stone out here. There we go. All outpost covered. It's just a general pattern. And now we got to work out how on earth we uh, we power all of these. Let's get the, uh, the big electric poles coming over here. Oh, I didn't stock up on those. I knew this would happen. I knew I wasn't ready. <laughs> I had this feeling. It's that feeling when you're like, I, I feel like I've not packed something vitally important. Whenever you're going on a trip, 
You're like, something's missing. Something's missing from my suitcase. I don't know what it is, but something's missing. It was, it was Paralytes. And that's only one of the things. There may be more things. At what point do I start nuking forests? When I can build nukes. That's when. I'm gonna build further out because I can make uh, radars and stuff maybe. And also I just want to explore out here and see what's up. Oh, cliffs. Uh-oh. we got to deal with cliffs now. We have to invent cliff explosives so we can actually continue the train route. Oh, and then the biters begin. Or just literally, it's a single worm. Why Why are you here? Oh, you've got a longer range than I thought. Moving away. Anyone else? There we go. Proper base there. Oh, it's spawning everything and all the behemoth worms are like, there's, there's a friend. Friend? Hello, friend. Bill, Bill H. You, you must be new here. Do you know how long I've been playing Factorio? I know I can make a gap for substations between miners. Also, thank you very much uh, to Sebastian Moreno for that uh, 17 Danish kron kroner, kroner, whichever one it is. Uh, just became a Patreon rather than the Netflix. R rather this than Netflix. Thank you very much, Sebastian Moreno. I greatly appreciate that you value me over Netflix. Also, wow. I, I'm, I'm honoured and, and surprised. Netflix is pretty decent, to be fair. But sure, I'll take that compliment. Okay, let's place ourselves a station. I just wanted to mine the stone fast. I don't know if I need to mine it, but I want to, you see? It's important. Uh, what am I doing? I need the subs... Uh, uh, where is it? There it is, there's the book. I couldn't find the blueprint book. Boop. Build it, my pretties. Build me my station. I really need to make that blueprint for the expandable station, or the, the, the station with wait times, because... Really need that. There we go, that's enough to make the, the extra rails I need to finish this. Boop. Station built. Okay, name this to... We've already got stone one, right? Yep, so... Stone... I was already in all caps, apparently. Stone two. We gotta do the RGBs. Uh, I can't remember what I do for stone. Hmm. I feel like it's somewhere like that, right? It, it's yellow, right? So it's it's red and green. And there we go, we take a we take the edge off the green. But I don't know by how much it's hard to say when it's a station. 175? Is that what I've got? Can I check the other station maybe? Stone one. There we go. Oh, 150 green. Okay. 150. Oh. Oh, we can't get exactly 150 Y game. Why are you like this? Why must you torture me so? Copy. Paste. Didn't check what that name was. Could have been Bentham. I'll never know now. Alright, and then loading. I didn't check what my supply of steel chest was like, but luckily it's good. Okay. Oh yeah, carrying on with power, so we can nestle that in there, that'll get some good coverage. God, we're still missing the middle ones. I literally can't reach that one unless I move something. Damn. Eh, this isn't vital. No, 
Oh, wait, no, I can get coverage of everything. I'm just being a derp. Alright, I'll put that back then. Boop. And then over here. No, I might have some problems in the middle after all. Yeah, I think we do. Let's get them all powered and then I can actually see what is and isn't powered. One more of these. Doop. Oh, well that one's not connected to anything. That's a start. No, oh, got them all covered. Nice. Perfect. And then a whole bunch of belts. Four of them, very nice. We can make a four to four balancer, maybe. I check it needs to be four to three. You can get 150 precisely by using the scroll wheel to adjust the value up and down. Ah, neat. Oh, so see you later, Rick. You're probably already gone because of how long the stream lag takes for me to get back to you. On top of the fact I didn't see your comment. Okay. There. We'll see how this goes. I definitely don't need the super high throughput that I'm producing here, but I'm doing it anyway. There we go. That's the way of doing it. And we need two of these. Plonk. Plonk. And that's our station. You know what? For... Aesthetic purposes, I'm going to move that to there. So it's dead middle. And there we go. Ridiculously high speed production of stone. Way more than we could ever possibly need. Now let me steal a whole bunch and make some rails. Till I can make rails no more. I should about do it. We've still got stuff left. Can we, on the fly, make cliff explosives? Almost certainly not, because we need explosives and they require sulfur. Yeah, no, I can't do that here. So, cl the cliffs are as far as we will go. They are our limit. That far and no further. I'm just going to walk over there initially, because I don't want the, the turrets going off before I'm ready. Oh, you both found the, the name of the station at once. Okay. Grenades. Carefully positioned grenades to avoid blowing up my power lines. Also, even more stone, just in case. Fortune balance isn't hard, you just do the 4 to 4 and don't take one of the outputs, I think. Or, or does that... Or is it that that doesn't work quite? There's still something wrong with it. Like, 3 to 3 is easy because you just do 4 to 4 and then send one of the outputs back into the beginning. I guess maybe 4 to 3... That's one's grown! Hold on a minute, that was one worm earlier! That's not how colonization works. They don't turn up to a base and make it grow. They turn up and start a base. There were no other biters there. There was one worm and nothing. And now there's a, a colonization party as if they're building it for the first time. What's that about? Or is there another worm? Is that a new base? further? Oh, it is a new base further along. There's the worm. Yeah, I was thinking it doesn't make any damn sense. That's not how it works. Right. So they're advancing at great speed. 
We gotta build our defensive wall before they have a chance to, uh, to overrun us. Gonna build the railway as far along as I can. That's where we'll park the train. And then we'll put the wall beyond it by being a bit risky. There we go. We're in aggro range of the worms, maybe, but I don't think anyone else has spotted me. Okay, one, two, three, four. Yep, you can hear them roaring in the distance. That's not ominous at all. I've got a blueprint for this. Let's be smart. Is it just for gun placement? Ah, oh, it is. Okay. We'll use the this one for now, and then we'll make a proper one. Go forth and build turrets, and then I will quickly load the turrets, because I'm very worried about our proximity to these biters. They may just attack us anyway, considering how close we are. Okay, there's... Ammo sorted. And then walls. Though we don't have enough, that's fine. I'll go steal some. As we make our way back again. Oh, I messed that up. Friendly reminder, take men to you break, the factory must grow. <laughs> I take breaks. I This stream is only planned to be two hours long. Keeping it short, because the plan is that I'm going to sleep at vaguely normal times. That's the plan so far. It may not actually be how things work out, but it's the plan. Hang on, before we go... I need to cannibalize our current wall. I should be safe to reverse along the tracks because nothing else should be coming up here yet because I haven't given any trains a schedule that brings them over here. Why don't I use laser turrets? Because... shush. And I should probably use a mix of them. Also, I got distracted reading chat and it went way past the wall. How does the game know what claimed territory is to not grow bases inside your factory? It doesn't. I build walls. I kill the biters. I build a wall. So next time they try and expand into my factory, they hit a wall. So that's the plan. I'm going to deconstruct the old wall for building the new one. There is actually a mechanic, I believe, where biters won't try and build like something directly on um, your factory. Like, if there's a certain amount of constructed entities in an area, they won't try and build there. But... Uh, they will colonize close enough to factories that if the factory is operating, the pollution will cause them to attack anyway. So even though they don't try and colonize, they will try and attack if they're uh, if they're that close. So they'll always get to eventually, one way or another, either pollution or colonization or a combination of the two. And indeed, the mass amounts of pollution being pumped out by my new stone uh thing my stone outpost is probably going to make a hell of a pollution cloud let's have a look yep that is uh, a nice solid pollution cloud that is spreading both directions i mean i make it all the way oh i've gone too far reverse before this thing goes off if actually no it's, it, we should be safe now we should be safe to advance all right send it in full speed Here we are, and then immediately it's going to start firing, so I need to go complete the wall. There we go, and here they come. The cannons have opened fire. Oh, they've only got range on the nearest ones. Damn. We really need the, the range to be higher. I wish I could shoot them over there. 
I can't go any further till I have cliff explosives. Welp. I think they still they still do a check, John Merku. It's just um it's just different than it used to be. It used to be the case of like if anything was built in an area, they wouldn't try and build near it. But now I think it's that if there's a certain concentration of man made structures in an area, they won't try and colonize. Okay, so full of features to add to this wall. Gates. Two here and two here. What I'm also going to do is move the turrets about a smidge. Hang on, I got that wrong. That's not quite the right spot. I think it should be there. I'm actually going to move around these turrets a lot, I think. Probably put just two here, because... Sure. And one thing I may do is just make the whole thing way more densely packed. So this is the middle, I think. So we'll put some gates here for cars, maybe. Not like that. <laughs> game. I've got used to games that auto-work out the rotations of things recently, and that's a problem now. I'm going to expand this. Eight wide. And we'll remove the turrets blocking that and have extra turrets flanking the edge. That's weird. Hang on. No, I've not got this right. Oh, maybe it was four. Hang on. So it's... Right, that's a wall, even though it doesn't look like one. Okay. One, two, three, four, and then... Yeah, that should be gate, after all. I had it right the first time. I am a fool. There. That's what we want. That should work. I'm just going to empty these out and load them again. Just for symmetry's sake. Let's do that. Thank you very much, Sebastian Moreno, for those 17 Danish kroner. If you use the gun manually, you can shoot way further. That's true, it does double the range if you shoot manually, so I could do that. I think I did that last ep episode in the end. Because I wanted to shoot more of them. Right, do I have enough ammo for all these? I think the answer is no. Because I've made more guns and doubled the ammo in each gun. So it makes sense that there's not enough ammo. Alright, 25 in each. take half out of these to keep it even. And then I'll have some of my own ammo still. I think there's a button combination to take half of something out, but I don't know what it is, so I'm just doing it myself. There we go. That's 400 uranium ammo on the front line. That should hold the gate. What we'll do is we'll take this blueprint. Why are they... T that one's pointless. Bin you take you out. Can I, like, redo you? I forget how that works. I think I just need to destroy it. I don't know D the way of... just delete it and make a new one. Blueprint. Boop. Sorted. Stick that in the book. What else we got in there? Station. Furnace array. My nuclear reactor. Standard setup. These ones can go too. Another furnace array. Circuit production. The old favourite balancer. Yep, they can all stay in there. 
All right. Well, it's done. We've advanced as far as we can for now. But I guess yeah, I can use the remote. Let's use the remote. Boop. Oh, yeah, that's like triple range. Oh, no, I think it's double, actually. Okay, here we go. That should work out pretty well. Let's see if we miss anything. Oh, yeah, there's one up there. I think they're being dumb about how they fire. They're like duplicate firing. Keep seeing multiple hitting the same spot. Okay, let's see if that works right. Yep, one each that time. It's not the other time. Oh, we've missed a worm there. There we go. Fighters are on their way. They're having a bit of a struggle with the edge of the wall, apparently. Or the edge of the, the universe. They're like getting stuck against it. That's interesting. I guess it's because they're trying to go for that, so they're trying to narrow down to beyond that line, but that's just making them get stuck on each other. Because they can't actually. And now here's the fun thing. Scouting shots. If we line that up right. Oh, colonization party. Nice try. Oh, didn't line that up quite right. Okay, let's try that again. There's some oil out there, interestingly. 8,000 of it. Nothing else. Neat. Bite is dealt with, presumably. There could be colonization parties out there, we don't know. And we still got plenty of ammo left in the cannons. Right, let's go home. Automatic. Oh yeah, it won't go. It's on the wrong line. Uh, can I sort this? Probably sort this. If I do that, it breaks things a lot. Let's put some signals in to isolate it from the rest of, of the network so it doesn't throw a fit. And let's try this again. Still no. Oh, yeah, the track's not complete. Damn it. <laughs> I'll make this work. I guess I could just go on the other line, but I've started doing this now. All the remaining steel. Here we are. Can we close the gap? Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, closed it with two to spare. Nice. Switch to auto and take us home. Oh yeah, that's definitely not balanced because that one's filled in and the other two haven't. Welp. Yeah, I guess four to three balances are, are aw more awkward than I was... Willing to think. Can make it work better. Resources are getting scarce. Time to build a rocket and go pillage a fresh planet. Yeah, right, Pete. It's actually a real problem. Ever since the updates changed the res uh, the resource... Uh, what do you call them? Distribution. It's been a real problem for me. Thank you very much, Wolf Smith, for that $5 super chat. Use more gun. Take, for instance, this heavy caliber tripod mounted little old number designed by me, built my, by me, and your best hope. Not pointed at you. Okay. I own nukes, don't worry. We got some firepower. Passing by all our, uh, our mining outposts. 
working away or not really doing very much because probably the whole base has come to a standstill because of the lack of stone. But soon that will be repaired. Check your bots. I think there was some that flew off before the stone outpost. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I have a completely weird number of construction bots. How do I have 54 of them? How does that even happen? What? Oh, dear. All right, there we go. Trains parked up. Get them reloaded. That's all good. More ammo for me. Even got some extras to dump in here. There we go, all the shells being delivered. That'll keep this production running for a while. Uh, okay, so, sorting out the stone train I need to do. Anything else important? Top of my head? No, I don't think so. But one thing is check the bot count. It's 600 of each. Why do I have 54 construction bots? How did this happen? <laughs> don't understand. Okay, we got a few trains doing the thing. Right. So, you go to stone one, scrap all this, uh, wait till like five seconds have passed at most, following this, go to stone two. I need to move this to after stone one, wait condition, time passed like 15 if that or full cargo then go to base unload for 15 seconds and that should be that sorted so it'll pick up what remains in the old stone outpost here's the train now I need to change the color of the thing because it's currently Currently a different colour on the other side. Oh, it's off. Uh-oh. Oh, well, there's the colour thing. I completely lost track of it. There we go. Use the scroll wheel. Nice. We're on our way. And I've just realised that you can use the colour thing to do a, a camera view. Which I don't think you can do now normally. Oh, you can do lo open this location and map and then just look at it like this. So, it stops at stone one. Does the thing. Spends five seconds unloading because it really needs no more than that. Admittedly, that thing's building up now, but that's just because it's badly designed. It'll be fine. Then it continues on to stone two. It's going to take a while. That may lead to some issues. I just noticed this only loads. Uh-oh. Hold on. Okay, they're blocked off. That's good then. I realize that might have been an issue otherwise. So it only uses the middle wagon. I'm guessing that's because it's only unloaded like that. The base. Yeah, it's only the middle wagon. The other two are for stone. That might be okay. Here it is. And this loading rate should be quick enough that it gets done in less than 15 seconds. Like, let me hop out and get closer so I can, I can actually look at the thing. So yeah, the, the rest of the loading station is irrelevant. It's only this one that actually matters. Whoops. But cargo's full with 2,000 stone and off it goes. Camera view and trim menu was removed as it was able to lag a real big amount when zoomed out. Yeah, I noticed. I still like that it was a thing, though. I'm sad that it's gone. Yeah, the game had to render two parts of the map completely. I always understood why, and I just accepted it. Like, it's reasonable. The game's got to do everything twice. But alas, it is gone. I'm pretty decent with the travel so far. No major interruptions to, uh, to movement. Though, there we go. And that's the problem. Always ends up waiting for something. The key issue with this is that even if I put in queuing areas and all the important places, trains will still have to wait for other trains to get out of the way. And that will slow things down. Like, this guy's got to stop here because that guy set off. And there was a queuing area here, though it wasn't 
that that was the issue. And here we are, for the high speed unloading. Presumably that'll take way less than 15 seconds. Definitely looking like it. And off it goes. I should have checked how long that took. Not that it vitally matches, because I've just got everything set till, uh, till full. So this should fix the stone issues. It may not do so immediately. I imagine that for a while it's going to struggle to keep up because it builds up its supply, but I imagine it is now building up the supply. Though the journey might be just that long that it is a serious problem, in which case we'll have to work something out. I could get some faster uh, train fuel, for one thing. Actually, that's a fair point. I could maybe significantly speed up the network if I introduce, like, rocket fuel, or even uh, uranium fuel. It's worth a try. I've got the uh, logistics-based infrastructure for transporting that around the place now. Where have I got rocket fuel being made? I, do I have it being made? I might not yet. Um, I, yeah, I've only got the... Uh, this stuff. Whatever you call it. The light... Freight. Low density structure, that's the one. I'm trying to... There's so many different factory games I'm playing now. They all have different names for different things. And I'm like, reinforced iron plates? No, that's not the one. Modular frames. Heavy modular frames. Reinforced planks. It's all such a mess now. Oh, there's a long gap between train visits here. That's a worry. Maybe this isn't a solution. Though, if it is a real problem, I just need a second train. Oh, this is building up. May not be permanent, though. There we go. Furnaces are being produced. They're going to go into purple science. Purple science is actually already good. What's limiting the science then? Is anything? Oh, military. Uh, oh, does that also use stone? Yeah, there we go. It uses stone for the walls. So that's been uh, been a problem for it. And stone. I guess military needs more stone than uh, than the purple packs do. So it's just been the case that military is the one that limits it in the end. And yep, that's still occurring. It has run out of stone. There is no stone left. Oh dear. Where's the next batch? Is it on its way yet? Oh lord. It's only just started arriving. Maybe we need more. I think we need more guys. I know it's satisfactory, Beth. I was... I, mm, that's what I was saying. Kelly, why? Why, Kelly? Nuclear trains are completely safe. Tell me how a nuclear train explodes. You didn't see graphite on the tracks because it's not there. Yeah, no, this isn't working. Like, it might. It might technically... Like, there's not enough stone currently for this to keep running, but it might be the case that there's enough stone that this is going to build up a bit more every stone delivery, so eventually it builds up back to the point where it provides enough stone to this, but that is a lot of conjecture. I, I can't know that. So I think we're, we're going to have to employ a second train. That's going to cause problems. Oh no, that's going to be four trains using this station. That's a lot of, a lot of trains. Because this is now the water station as well as the stone and coal station. Ugh. Oh, it's a problem. It's a big problem. Might need a better solution to this. Okay, gonna float an idea. This is something people have mentioned before, so... 
there may already be significant support for this. We move this entire facility elsewhere. Over here somewhere, or maybe over here. We just get it out of the way. Put it somewhere else. We have uh, a new station. Significant, and we might just have that station that delivers plates instead from the outsourced smeltery area. And then this space is usable for multiple new stations for stone and coal and water and anything else that we need. We just, just get it out of the way. We just get this out of the way, we put something else here so that the thing works and we don't have everything get in the way of everything else. Because I think we need it. That way we can have all the stations we need, queuing areas for all of them so that they can support mul like multiple trains without getting in the way of the rest of the system, and everything just works nicer. You'll go nuclear eventually, just do it now. You say that, Mimic, but I am yet to find any new uranium, and that is the key thing right now. I only have the one uranium in mine. It is about to run out entirely. When that's gone, I have no known new sources of uranium. So until I have another uranium deposit, I don't feel safe in in doing that. I don't feel safe in going out and, and, and like, going ahead and making everything nuclear. Do it though, it may take an ent entire episode. Only one episode, Rashil? Really? Are we going to make another multiplayer satisfactory series with EE? Um, when the new update comes out, I may well do that. I know it's out in experimental, but it's half incomplete and crap right now. So when the update's actually out, at roughly around the end of June, we may return to that series, but not for now. We'll wait till there's trains, because trains are cool. And nuclear. Basically, it, as it turns into Factorio, though also aluminium is a new thing that's coming. I could radically expand the ear station. Also true, I can make it less of a, a hyper-compressed mess and maybe make it more efficient in the process by having it use half the space that the, uh, the furnaces currently use. Just redo the whole thing. Might be time. Okay, uh, you know what? Yeah, I nearly did get run over there. I need to make a whole bunch of rails for a start. There's no stone here. That makes sense. Oh, wait, no. The logistics network is full of stone. From earlier failed attempts at picking up stone, the bots will provide me with all the stone I need. And let's see, how far can we explore? Pretty damn far. No cliffs in sight. But we should make some cliff explosives, so I'll go to set that up. Okay, so it needs barrels and grenades, just to be awkward. Barrels and grenades. Uh, we can do it. And it's gonna be weird. No, I just picked up a whole bunch of plastic. Why? No. I need a total of three assembly machines. I'm going to have to make some more of those because I don't have the stuff. Luckily, I apparently had exactly the number of speed modules I need. Do I actually? Oh, I totally do. Huh. I exactly... <laughs> At the exact specific number of speed motors I needed to make the uh, the assembly machines I need. I realize it's going to take forever to do this because I've got a bunch of tracks queued up. Let me just delete these for now so I can actually do anything. Okay, this here I think would make... The actual... no. That will make grenades. Then... Something like here would make the... The final thing? I don't know. We need something here to make... The barrels. I 
I'm just making this as awkward as I can for myself, I realize, but in a certain way, it's fun. So we're doing it. So plonk that there. Then, oh god. Okay, maybe this is a bad idea. What about that? That doesn't work at all. Nope, that's not a thing. Oh, there's another way of doing this. Uh, there we go. This goes here. Um, so, I can make the grenades and I can get those to there. Oh, the explosives are there. That doesn't work. But can I make it work through various degrees of heresy? No. <laughs> There's things I can do. If it's there. Then I have a bit more room to do this. No, that doesn't help. What else can I do? How how can I make this more horrifying? I have no idea. Oh, nearly. If I have... The whole belt can actually move. It doesn't need to be here. Interestingly. Oh, why is there a splitter on the ground? How did I... Did I hit drop instead of... <laughs> oh, dear. Right, delete that. Put that in. And that. Delete that. Now, I can put this... Oh, wait, no, I don't need to do anything with that now. I can just take it off here. Here we go. Oh, and this actually needs to be here. And then I can put this one here. And then take this and this to make grenades. And this can make... Uh, where are they? Wait, what are cliff explosives made of? Oh, they're that, that category. Okay, so there we go. We got the grenades. We got the explosives. Now we just need the barrels. They're over here right now. Doop. And then how do I get the output over to here? <laughs> oh, what have I done? Why am I like this? This is entirely my fault. Wait, no! There's a way! I've got it! I've got it sorted! Okay. No, this still doesn't work. No, wait! It does, I think. But we're going galaxy brain here. If I do this, that gives a spot that I can place an item so that an inserter can pick it up and move it over here. But then I can't get it into there. We've got to move the, the grenade production back a square. Oops. Put that back. This and this. Long armed inserter here, nice and out of the way. And if I. Do this. Swap this out for just belt. Because so I can have the merge happen at a different point. You see. A way different point. So, like that. And 
then just do like there that's working again now we have room to put the machine here way closer in fact I mean that that makes no difference actually that doesn't help yeah we'll put it there inserter here long-armed inserter I was going to say here, but we could do here. Then it goes on a belt, goes this way, and then goes that way. And you make uh, barrels. You make grenades, substation, and the whole thing totally works. And thank you very much to Johnny8812 for those 4,000 HUF. Is that Hungarian? I can never remember. I feel like it could be. Hungarian... Florence? Possibly? But thank you very much. Greatly appreciated. Massive coin explosion. Keep up the good work. Glad to have a good night, y'all. Thank you very much, Johnny8812. That is very awesome of you. Is it Hungarian Florence? Is that the one? I'm gonna think of a different one. I've never seen so much heresy from Bentham in my life. Is this a good time to say that, like, I should definitely be asleep right now? Normally, I, uh, and I don't just mean, like, if I was a normal human being, I mean, last night I went to bed before 11, um, and it's currently now past midnight. So, by all accounts, I should be asleep. I've been trying to fix my sleep pattern. I decided to stretch it a little bit today because my stream schedule is 10 to midnight, then I started a bit late. Some physics sure happened in that cup. I was right, Hungarian forints. Did it. Nailed it. So yeah, my tiredness may be making me slightly heretical. But we did it. We made cliff explosives. Why is it broken now? I think it's just that it's full. Okay, we'll make a storage. There we go. In fact, let's be fancy. Let's make it a provider. Limit it severely, because we never need like cliff explosives in large amounts. And then... Set requesting 50 of them. Boom. Five explosives so far. The machines are working away. What's the limitation? Um, this takes 8 seconds. How much does a grenade take? Also 8 seconds. Okay, that works out pretty well then. Barrels take 1 second. Impressive, really. Yeah, I'm trying to fix my sleep. It's not broken yet. Well, it's it's 5 past midnight and I plan on finishing in like half an hour. It, it'll be okay. I didn't expect it to hold before midnight. Just not be as bad as, um, noon. That's that's what I ended up going to bed at on Monday night, also known as the middle of Tuesday at noon. <laughs> I slept from noon till ten, and I woke up in darkness, and that messed that messed me up. That confused the hell out of me because I realized I haven't woken up in darkness for months because I've been going to bed after sunrise. <laughs> so when I woke up in darkness, I'm like, ah, what? Where am I? What's going on? Ah! And then I'm like. Okay, the fact that I reacted with panic to waking up at night time is a problem. I should fix this now. So I stayed awake for 24 hours. Went to bed at, uh, at like 11 p.m. yesterday. And so it's going to be like midnight. Well, like, it's probably going to be like 1 a.m. today. And I'll try and not let it get much further past that. The same if it don't, ain't broke, don't fix it. So just stream till morning. No, no I can't do that. I know I, I don't want to ruin uh, the possibility of a normal schedule when it's within my grasp, but the problem is I've dis I've defined a stream schedule, and I should try and keep to that where I can. Admittedly, I was like 40 minutes late today, and that was mainly due to talking about Chernobyl and Chernobyl memes, but I'll try and be better at that. Oh dear. Okay, how's the supply going? Oh, I've got 20. Oh, the stack size is 20? Oh no. You know what? Limit it to 20. I'll live. That's fine. 
Actually, it's really... That's probably not enough. Like, 40. Put it on 42 stacks. And I have some explosives on me if I need to urgently make some more. Alright, dump this because I do not want plastic in my inventory. There's no point. Wait, no, keep hold of that. I was going to get rid of that, but 64 is an important number for something. I forget what, so I guess I'll keep hold of it in case it is something actually properly important. Okay, I got rails, probably need more of those. So I'll make a few more. I imagine stone's what's limiting me. And then something else I wanted to come over here for was I want to make some nuclear fuel. The kind that runs trains, because that seems fun. Where is it? Is it here? There it is. Nuclear fuel. Uh, made of rocket fuel. Uranium-235. Uh, we don't have rocket fuel. Also, it's completely redded out, which makes me think... Oh, yeah, it's made in a centrifuge. Right, we got to make a special centrifuge for this, then. Let's go. Can I make a centrifuge? Probably not. No, it requires 100 concrete. Let's go get 100 concrete. More explosives. Excellent. Uh, here it is. Doop. Centrifuge. And then we need solid fuel. What am I doing with solid fuel? Am I doing anything with it? I must be delivering it. Oh, I'm delivering it over there. Damn. It's no good to me over there. This is the problem. I have solid fuel here and here and nuclear fuel here. i got to get them all in one place. That's no good. Oh, I just do it with logistics because sod it. All right. Uh, I don't want to make this a provider because it might all go away. No, actually, that, that should be alright having it be a provider. If we run out of stuff in the chest, then we'll run out of stuff on the belts and stuff will immediately travel through onto the belt before it has a chance to do anything else. It'll be taken by bots. So it should work. So, provider. Bloop. And we'll go over this way, I guess. Oh, that's the uh, solar fuel train. We'll take that. over to about here. I'm thinking we stop here. We build the centrifuge just like nestled in behind the uh, the gear production. Nuclear fuel. Did it require... Oh, we got to make the rocket fuel as well. Uh, that is made in what? Uh, just a normal assembler. We can't make normal assemblers right now, however. Thank you, bots. Thank you, thank you. Thank you very much. The ones who are charging are going to have to wait or work a little bit longer. By following me. I need to go get some modules so I can make a crap ton more watching my jigs. Thinking my bobs. Assembly machine level threes. The things I'm surrounded by. There we go, 25 of them. There. Got all the stuff for him. Back over here. Oh, but before we go, need to make provider chest. A couple of matchly. No, it's gonna take a minute for these to be done. Hang on. There we go. Boop. Just the one. Oh, immediately... What? Hang on. Why? Have... Why have I got a requester here? Where is it requesting them from? Anywhere? Or did I just put that in because I had a bunch dumped in the, the, the network? 
I feel like some past incident is is a thing here. Did, at some point, did I dump something full of? I must have. I must have at some point like accidentally flooded the logistic system. It might have been like last episode or something. At some point, I flooded the logistic system with solid fuel, and uh, now I'm gonna do it again. Boop. <laughs> Off it goes. Well. Oh dear. Oh, I couldn't pick that up. Oh god, the solid fuel! Why have you done this? Oh, I picked it up, didn't I? Dump it. I've made I've made a terrible mistake. Why am I like this? Here we go, I can dump it all in here. There we go, mostly okay. Only some of it actually went where it wasn't supposed to. I like how the bots still have their job to visit me, but the thing they're visiting me for is gone, so they just turn up and then leave. <laughs> like, I'm here for the, uh, the, the order. And I'm like, no, there's, there's no order. And I'm like, oh, alright, I go home. Okay, you make rocket fuel. Takes 30 seconds. Okay, we don't think we need this at a particularly high rate. Oh, this takes 90 seconds. Yeah, we're fine. It's not a problem. Yeah, having one of these may not be enough. Huh. Doop. Oh, we need another requester. Do it like that, because that's nice and neat. Ah, what have I done? There. Okay, please request solid fuel. There's an easy way of doing this. Boop, boop. Didn't work. I hit control instead of shift. Okay, 12 is a weird number. Make it 50. You request... Uranium-235 in, like, batches of five tops. We don't want tons being stored in here. And it takes 90 seconds to make the damn thing, so we'll be fine. I hope it makes like 10 of them. I don't think it does, though. The fun thing is that the fuel value of nuclear fuel is 1.21 gigawatts! But the thing that we're here for is the fact that it gives vehicle acceleration of 250%, which also allows trains that can't run at their actual top speed to run at their actual top speed. That's the thing, is that wagons and a train facing backwards slow down our trains quite significantly. I don't think they can reach their top speed, but with nuclear fuel, they can, and fast. So that's a thing. Okay, and then this is a provider. Let's limit it to, like, two stacks. We really don't want this thing to go nuts. Oh, here we go. Oh, you know what I've missed? The input! <laughs> there we go, this thing can now actually run. As it will do, with ease. It's gonna take a full two minutes for us to get a finished bit of fuel. One point twenty one GJ is not Juggerwatts, it's Gigajats. <laughs> okay, yeah, it's Gigajoules, I guess. I don't know. Joules and Watts are just like different measurements. One is one of them time based and the other one's not. I can't remember how it works. Don't make me think about these things. Yeah, you know, we also need that. Now it can run. And in 90 seconds, we'll have our fuel. That will basically run our train forever. The issue is we need two fuel so we can put it in both ends of the artillery train to make it the turbo speed train that we, we need it to be, that it must become. Okay, let's go grab even more speed modules so I can actually get a full stack of 
assembling machine, so I don't have to think about him for a while. Nope, we don't quite have all the gears. That should do it. Wait, no, I didn't actually cancel that. There. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the stone's still not looking great. How's the science? Not a thing. There is no science. Now there's some science because the stone's arrived. Yeah, we need another stone train or we need um, more unloading of stone actually taking place. Let, let me go have a look at the, the situation here. Like, can we just overclock what we have? Okay, we have options. Um, this area here could become an extra stone unloading. That would double our unloading rate. And uh, give the train twice the current capacity. That should fix the problem. That we don't need to have a second train involved. Yeah, joules equal watts multiplied by time. There we go. It's close enough. Joules is work and watts is power. I'm getting maybe differing things. I don't even know. <laughs> Listen, is is the, the point of it is that it's a 1.21 gigawatts reference. That's all that matters. Okay, um, so let's go grab our fuel because it should be ready now. We, there might even be two. There is one. There is a single piece of fuel. The other one is nearly ready though. Come on. Please. There it is, as soon as I looked away. Right, the stack size is one. You know what? You can have five. I'll be generous. Actually, if we want to, like, switch trains over, we're going to need, like, ten. Okay. That will s very, very slowly work away. I mean, presumably, I think it's it's slower than the, the enrichment plant, so... This can keep up with it, though it, we've also got to contend with the fact that the reactors themselves are using the nuclear fuel, so... Can't go nuts. I have a second one of these, but it seems like the supply is going fine. 1,500 in there. Okay. Uh, oh, rails. I could probably make some more of those. There we go. Cliff explosives are fully stocked at 40. We've got a decent bit of ammo on us. Though I maybe want to have a little bit more thinking about it. Let's sort out this while we're here. So these are filter uh, inserters, so we should be fine. If I cut this, does that... Yeah, that shuts things down. Boop. Okay, and... Stack filter inserters. Copy, paste... Into steel chests. Fast inserters will be enough for unloading. Have them just all run down here. Go this way. Go underground. For a while. Oh, actually, oh, they go down in the first place. Okay. Uh, go up. Like so. I'll make a bit of space. Actually, should build that there. I'm gonna work this backwards, like that. That messed this up. We'll have this balance for reasons, and then it will nicely merge in with that one, and they'll both get to do the thing. Then what we need to do is actually give the train the capacity to load the other wagon, because I don't think it actually can. 
Currently there's a huge queue of various different trains in the network, stretching back a painful amount. There are in fact one, two, three, four, five trains. Six. Oh my god, trains keep turning up and being affected by the traffic jam that's already cleared. We're seeing like blooming motorway um, congestion in action here. The, the thing that caused the congestion is gone, but the effects of the congestion continue moving down the line. Thankfully it's all cleared out now. No way it hasn't. We're still going. More more queuing is happening at different reasons now. It's a different queue. Oh dear. I wonder the stone supply can't uh, keep moving. Oh crap, it's here! No! Ah! Train! We got in it. Oh, this is all filtered to coal. Interesting. Well... I don't know, I didn't want to do that. Now it's going to be filtered to stone. And this is the only way to do it. Just lots of hammering of middle mouse button. You know what? I could copy and paste the other wagon's uh, instructions. I now realise that I was that I'm done with it. Yep, so there we go, this is fully set up, ready to do the thing. And yeah, that one I can't reach, but I know it's just blocked off. Yeah, I know I can put one nuclear fuel in each end of the train and it will just run forever. Especially considering it's the artillery train, it only operates while I'm there. So it's just going to be turbo speed without any need for other fuel sources for the entire lifetime that it has at this point. Now the only way I could use up the fuel is if I decided to give it the job of endlessly bouncing between the two walls so that it constantly attacked uh, any biters that colonized closer to the wall. Which is an option, could do that but could just as easily set up two trains that just sit on the ends of the tracks and do that forever without having to move. Changing the filter from coal to stone will not be problematic later on. Huh? This is just a stone train, it doesn't do anything else. It used to be a stone coal train, now it's just a coal, uh, stone train. It'll be fine. It can't pick up any, any stone from anywhere. And it was never picking up any coal. And... Actually, I was, I was going to hop out when we get to the artillery train, but I'll wait till the other end to make sure it works. Oh, traffic again. Yep, it's this, it's this oil outpost. There's just too much going on. Oh, this, I guess this is the reactor, actually. There's just a lot of oil stuff going to it. We have to rebuild this at some point with a queue. Because it just can't handle all the different trains without disrupting the entire rest of the network and anyone who's trying to cross through the middle of the network. There we go. Doubled unloading speed. All cleared out. Off it goes. And now it'll take twice as long for these to empty out and there'll actually be a chance for things to build up. We shall see if it's enough. I don't know. It's looking solid for now. It's actually harder to tell because of how, like, lumpy everything is now. It's harder to see the individual items, so you're like, yeah, it's just a, a belt of ore. Hard to say if there's gaps or whatever. Which is the idea. Police some of the normal signals with chain signals and the trains will block intersections. No, like unless I replace vast swathes of the network, that won't help. And then the fact that vast swathes of the network are chain signals will probably break it anyway. It needs queuing areas. That's the only way it'll work. I could copy a couple of air stations to the left of the nuclear plant and belt from there. Uh, it's a possibility, doing it that way. I'd, I'd redo it, though. The, the air station is born of uh, 
of extremely limited space. I'll be able to do something more normal and sane with the space by the nuclear outpost. Just watching the stone, because it's really satisfying to see a system start building up after previously being broken. Don't know if this will yet. We'll see. Oh, there we go. This is all building up. Looking good. Let's follow it back. There's probably... Yeah, there's going to be a gap. But the key thing is, will the train get back and deliver more stone before this backup here fully drains? If that is true, we're good. We're sorted, and the science stuff is now going back at uh, full speed again. We shall see. Where is the stone train? It is on its way back. That is a very good sign. I think we might be... We might be good. We might be saved. It's looking very solid. Just gotta wait for the water train to leave. That's another problem that I've got a lot of multi-purpose stations, meaning that trains have like take longer to do their job because they're waiting for the other trains that share the station to get out of the way. That's an alternative way of dealing with the the queuing situation is make it so that no train would ever need to queue for a station in the first place. I reckon our stone's fixed, because this is still way built up. Doesn't matter about one side uh, running down. As long as there's one side still existing, we are solid. Here comes the stone. We fixed it. We did it. Here it is. The gap is closing. Uh, and success! We have proved the stone supply is now good enough. Okay, let's go get the artillery train and have some fun. How far out do the tracks go? Oh, not far at all right now. There's going to be a lot of track building. Oh, there's going to be a lot of track building. Holy crap. We're going to have to nearly double the length of our entire network to get out to where those biters are. I didn't realize how big a project this was. Build more rails! Oh, no. Luckily, we now have a solid supply of stone to work off. Oh dear. This is a much bigger project than I thought. We're going to need some bots for this. We're going to have to do some proper large-scale uh, deconstruction here. Let's set it up now. From about here. Everything. From there... Oh, jeez. Two. Here. Gone. It may only apply to things I can actually see. That could be a problem. Oh, we need radars. We need a whole crap ton of radars. Twenty-five radars. Uh, power lines. Fast amounts of power lines to power all these radars. Full stack, straight away. Probably not enough. Remember sleep, Beb? Sleep was good. Yeah, I know. I've only got, like, 12 minutes before I begin the wrap-up uh, process. We can work towards things. We can get something initial going. I could do it like, substations as well. I have literally none of them. Didn't realize I used up exactly how many substations I have on the uh, stone outpost. More steel! Bring me steel, bots. I need it. It's all blooming gone, because I probably don't have any being stored in logistics, or if I do, it's miles away. Deliver me all the things, bots. <laughs> we need to construct additional everything. This is true. Uh-oh. Hold up. They're attacking the wall, and they're, they're succeeding. Uh-oh. Oh no, he's just going to go nuts on the turrets till he destroys them enough that he needs to move to kill more of them. Oh dear. Yeah, I left that too long. We've got to get out there. Oh no. I want to work the rail network over there, but also I need to get there urgently because biters. What do I do? Oh 
<laughs> Look at my construction plans. So many things. What did I come over here for? There was something I needed. Oh, more ammo. Yes, more ammo for all the turrets I'm building. Doop doop. Have some more. We'll need it. There we go. Actually fully stacked. Do we have some turrets to spare? Oh yeah, we do. Plenty. And I've realised I made my, my blueprint direction specific because the gates are on the south portion. But if I flip it, they'll be on the wrong, wrong bit. Oops. <laughs> I approve of this comment, right, P. I don't know why YouTube saw fit to auto-mod it. I guess it was all the fire emotes, but they were very uh, relevant. This is fine. Do the zoomies before bed. Yeah, that's, I guess that's what I'm doing. Oh, dear. Ow, I just got hit by a train. As you do. That's why you're not paying attention. You're in a bit of a panic. Okay. We have 11 stacks of rails. It may not be enough. Let's make more. 12 stacks of rails. Uh, what else do we need? Maybe, like, even more big electric poles? I guess we have the materials to make those on the fly if we need to. More substations, just because we do need them. Maybe I should also stock up on just all the usual stuff. I don't think I'll need it, but still. Actually, if we find a, uh, a uranium deposit out there, we'll build an outpost on it immediately. Because <laughs> that will revolutionize our entire factory. Oops. Anything else I need? Like... Oh, signals, I guess. Vast amounts of signals. Where are they? A full stack of signals. More chain signals. You know it's serious when I when I get the chain signals. Is his control key broken or did it just murder his family? <laughs> Shush you. I forget the key combinations sometimes, so I just spam things. Satisfying. Shush. God, I hate how you need to make iron sticks for everything now. I spent so much time crafting iron sticks. I'm gonna have to get myself, like, delivered iron sticks for crafting. Like, seriously, I, I can't. This is too much. Why, game? Why? I request a stack of iron sticks. I never thought it would come to this, but, but it must. It's the only way. Crofty, I now want to see uh, a Mad Max sequel with a nuclear-powered car. I imagine it wouldn't be a car, it would be like a truck or maybe a small moving city. Oh my god, what if Mad Max does mortal engines but not crap? That'd be awesome. Are they doing a Mad Max sequel? I feel like they are, but I can't remember if that's just me hoping they do one, if there, or if there actually is one in the works. I really hope there is, because Fury Road is one of the greatest movies of all time. I'm going to go over here and I'm going to build a blummin' iron rod production. Because <laughs> the, the game has broken me down. With all the rails. I've got. I mean, I, I don't need to build rails. I have rail production. I just started crafting them because I panicked. I have them over here. Including iron rods, actually. Yeah, this is... We don't need... <laughs> do I not these being stored anywhere? I really should do that. Like... What, why? Why would I do this to myself? Uh, 
uh, where can I put him? Boop. I need a couple of providers. Oh, when I finish crafting the 50 signals. I got my inventory's full now. Dumping that because I seem to have an odd number and that's the worst. Just stocking upon all the random stuff. Okay, boop, boop, and then stack and stack so it will... Oh, no, that's... Hang on, I didn't think this through. Delete. Filter insert is what I need. I'm, I'm getting there, we're doing it. Oh god, I made so many of these. Put them in. You, you'll use them up. Okay, please take rails. Limit to five stacks. You stop trying to unload productivity modules. It should, it should probably be ten stacks, like... Really. And then... I, I can't even put this anywhere. I'm gonna try to be consistent with the placement of those and I messed it up. Oh wait, this belt is used for other things. Oops. Provider. Iron rods. I hate it. I hate it so much. It's the worst thing. Also, some of these guys need to get away. I have 50 of them already. I'm not even requesting any. It's a miracle I have some left. Okay, now, go here, grab even more. 1,500 rails, is it enough? We'll find out. Oh no, I can't even craft a full stack of these. I still end up running out of the rods. It's actually taking a minute for the rods to be supplied. I might be ruining the science production with stealing these. It seems like it's maybe being smart with how it's doing this. I don't really know. Okay, yeah, I can only make like 10 before I have to wait again. There, are 75 of them. That'll do. We'll get those rounded out. Anything else I, I might need? I don't think so. I think we're we're good to go now that we are uh, we have a minute and thirty left. I gotta wait a second to be delivered crap. Though I'm probably done now. Wait no, there's some more things. Oh dear. Oh it's the rods. I I don't care. Let's go. See you bots. Can't catch me. Oh you know what we should do? I just realized, uh, concrete. Have I set up automatic pr uh, placement of concrete yet? I don't think I have because I didn't see a blueprint for just a block of concrete. I don't think we've done that yet and I can have the bots work on that while I'm away. Let's have a look. Where's the concrete storage? Yeah, it's in a steel chest still. Provider. Boop. And that, yep, that fills completely full. So, blueprint. No, I want to... Damn it. Yeah, we got to work this out. Okay, 20. So that's between those two boxes. And then 20 this way is there. So keep it lined up this way. There. Cancel components. Add entities. 
We have a 400 by... Oh, we have a, a 20 by 20 block of concrete. I will signal this in a smart way for the blueprint. Wait, no, there's a better way. If I do, like, 400, that might be better. Uh, 420. 400 kind of works. It's, it's good enough. And then... I can just paint with this. Make it all concrete. Give the bots something to do while I'm gone. Everything up to like here. Paint. Or... Why is it not... That's weird. Paint. Oh, I've got to be like at the edge. If I overlap the edge, it doesn't allow it. That's weird and confusing. Alright. And then... Run along here till the network ends, which is actually not that far away. But we can continue it, and we can expand the network later. I don't know. And then all this can go. Clean cut at the end, or not, as the case may be. Boop. That's the wrong thing. That. Put you in there. Okay. Something to keep the bots busy while I'm gone. Enjoy, bots. Have fun. More ammo? Nope. Not really. Well then. Okay, fuel. Yoink. Oh, wow, this is running out of fuel. And yoink. The fun thing is that for a second they'll go at normal speed while I use up the remaining fuel in the... Uh, from from the, the little bit of coal they had left. Okay, automatic. Please go. Here. So for a minute... Oh, there we go. It switched to nuclear. Acceleration doesn't seem amazing, but it's it's decent. Uh, apparently it's 250% acceleration. Now we're getting up to speed. Yeah, I don't think the trains can normally reach these speeds. We almost hit 300 kilometers. I think we reached the max speed that a train of any kind can go. And here we are. So that's a good start. Bots, go forth and do your thing. When do we need the first radar? Uh, pretty soon, actually. I think. Or is there... Oh, there's one up there. Okay, a little bit before we get to that, then. Right. Build me tracks. In fact... Let's automate this here. Um, new blueprint. Does that work? Yes, it does. Okay. And then, boop. Boop. And I can just go in the map. And just start placing this down. And yes, I know, there are mods that can do this for me. But I don't have those on right now. This is a modless run. So we're doing it this way. Oh, immediate issue. Okay, um, I've got to set auto trash. All wood beyond like two stacks. That'll make this run way better. Oh, it automatically. Uh, oh, it did one stack. One stack's fine. It's a hundred. We can deal. That'll work. We'll annihilate some more forests. It would be nice if you could run a fuel station that the train only goes to when it's running low. That kind of thing is probably doable with a bit of work. There might be ways to read fuel content in a train using, like, circuit conditions. I'm not really sure. But if you can, then... Hang on a minute. If you can do that, then you can probably... Uh... Huh. It's out over the edge of the world. There. It's not like walkable ground, it's just a texture on top of the ground, but that's quite funny. Hello to Paper Fleaganar, it's been a while, I haven't seen you in streams for, for a little bit. How is it going? It's going well for me, I'm streaming more regularly now. I've got videos actually recorded for once. Things are doing good. Actually vaguely on top of stuff for a moment, except Patreon a bit. But I'm also more on top of that than I was previously. That situation is improving. 
Not the best, but it's better. Oh yeah, we are now past the two-hour mark. No! I wanted to forge ahead, but also I must sleep. The perils of a normal sleep schedule. I actually have to submit to it if I want to, uh, to maintain it. Just getting into the swing of things, too. How far are we? Uh, oh yeah, we're, we're like... Not even a quarter of the way. Oh, that hurts. That's real painful. Just want to keep going a little bit longer. Just to put more of a dent in it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wolf Smith, for that $2 super chat. Local man cuts millions of trees. At least I'm using bots this time. Sometimes I burn them or grenade them. Actually, I might need to do something like that here. I haven't made the flamethrower, have I? So I can't do that. Uh, grenade to this then. Slightly injuring myself, but it's fine because shields. There we go. And then bots for this section. Just to keep things actually around the tracks properly clear. Doop. Doop. Oh, I went too fast. Just trying to make enough of a dent in it that I can feel like I can achieve this next episode. <laughs> How's it looking? Oh, that's better. Now we're like a third of the way there. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Not enough to get the uh, the artillery train there today. But next, next stream, definitely. So I achieved one of the things that I said I would in the description. <laughs> there we go. I double grenaded, whoops. Explosives are always the answer in Factorio. The American way to deforest. Indeed. I swear I'll stop soon. It's just a nice, relaxing, repetitive task to go forth and build these tracks. Oh, I missed a bit. I think. Did I? Yeah, I did. Doop. 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 Okay, we'll stop there. I'm, I'm calling it. I am calling it. Let him build it. And then we gotta work out the radars. We're kind of miles away from any radars. I don't want to go back and then build radars on my way, because that'd be a huge pain. So I'm just gonna start them on this end, and we'll work it out. <laughs> Uh, and as we walk back, we'll uh, we'll wrap up for today. So, things that are coming up. Let's see. Well, uh, today's Thursday. Okay, there's going to be more satisfactory. I've got at least one episode recorded ready. I'll try and get some more and not have it such a big gap again with the episodes. Funny thing is, I felt like the, ep the, the gap was huge, but it's only like a week. But that's because... I recorded the last episode two weeks ago and uploaded the, the two episodes 
two weeks apart, or a week apart. So, hang on, no, I didn't do that right. So it ended up uh, feeling to me like forever, because it was, and for you it probably wasn't so bad, because you had a, you were drip-fed the, uh, the videos for a while. That's the clever tactic, you see. Um, there might be more kingdoms and castles now that there's some cool update stuff with that. We might continue with that more frequently. But also, there's been a Vulcanoids update that's very interesting, and so I think it's probably finally back, uh, time to get back into that. In the end, I only did three episodes. I definitely meant to do more, so you'll probably see more of that soon. There we go. Full radar coverage of the entire thing. Nice. And we are halfway there. That worked out quite nicely in the end. Half done today, half done next time. And then we'll be there, and we'll fight the biters. Which we need to do quick, because they're tearing the wall apart. It's getting quite dangerous. At some point, they're going to breach through and, like, take out our little outpost there. And then we know it's serious. We can't deal with it today, because that's the range of the artillery wagon, and that's how far we've got the tracks. So next time. Next time, we shall have our victory. We shall have our revenge. And yeah, the, the, the Vulcanoids... Uh, Oh, Patreon? Of course, yeah, because I gave the video to patrons, like, as soon as I recorded it. So for patrons, they had to wait two, two weeks or more. Oh, no. Whispers Derail Valley. I don't have VR. Can you play Derail Valley without VR? Is it going to be any good without VR? If you can? Maybe I should get VR. It would help me be a lot more active, that's for sure. Though I'd, I'd probably have a heart attack if I played, like, Beat Saber. Yeah, that, that game would kill me. Hmm. But yes, anyway, um... What was I saying? I'm getting very distracted. Volcanoids, yes. Um, I en ended up only doing three episodes of it, and I was kind of sad about that, because I felt like the game hadn't gotten to, like, quite the best part of that, of that stage that, that you saw it at. Oh, this is going to take a while. Um, and also, I, like, both in terms of, like, my progression through the game in those three episodes, and also, um, like, the state the game was in, I felt like it needed more work and I had some things to say about it, but now there's this update out which completely changes the burrowing mechanics. There's now a whole burrowing map and you actually direct your, your drill through it, and to me that's a game changer, I feel like that changes the entire feel of the game, so I'm quite excited to see how that works, and, um... And try that side of the game because it looks very neat and, and, and fun to, to work with. And like I'm going to spend a lot of time just faffing about underground because it's going to be cooler than overground. Um, so yeah, definitely want to try that out if I have the time. But we've also got we also want to carry on covering Factory Town and stuff. So I've got a couple of different things up in the air right now and it's a lot to keep track of. Four different series means that even if I actually get something out every single day, I still won't be able to cover every game uh, twice a week. So, I don't know if I'll be able to keep that up. It'll probably just be a, like random smatterings of each game, just flipping between them bit by bit, and they'll, they'll come out, and I'll try and get like maybe one video a week of each one if possible, but I definitely can't guarantee that. It's probably going to be more like one week I cover two of them, the other week I cover two of them, and they're just kind of clustered like that because I'm the worst, and I can't batch record more than one or two things before I'm like, I've got batch recordings, I don't need to do any more. And it all just goes wrong from there. Why does everyone keep talking about machine learning? I don't know what's happening in the chat right now, but I'm worried people are trying to engineer a robot uprising. Have you not seen Westworld? You know how this ends. Also, there's a massive hole in my, uh, my blueprinting that I managed to miss. There we go. That'll keep the bots even more busy. <laughs> Make the problem even worse. How many rails did we use up? Most of them. We need more. Wow. Wow, yeah, that's that's bad. So we need like another 1,500 just to get the artillery train out there. Then we need 3,000 to get the artillery train back again. It's gonna be bad. Also, they've unloaded all the wood. Excellent. I'm, I bet that's broken, that system. Never heard of Westworld? It's a, a cool TV show. It's on HBO. I've been watching it, so it's fresh in my mind, hence why I'm talking about it. I found HBO is very good at, at having its flagships, it seems. You've got Game of Thrones, you've got Westworld, and you've got Chernobyl, and they're all brilliant. Why is this... My... 
Why is my wood storage just... Now I'm very confused because there's not enough wood here for what it was presumably removed from me. Where did it go? Do I have wood storage somewhere else? Now I'm confused. How much wood is in the network? 3,000. Where is it? There's 400. 600. 7, 8, 9, 1,100 is in here. There's 2,000 somewhere else. Is it on its way? Where is it gone? I'm so confused. Wait, all the bots have stopped. Where, where's the concrete? There's no concrete. Something's missing. Water. What? Where did... Where did this water come from? It, it doesn't... Oh, there it is. No, it doesn't go anywhere. What is this? Huh? There's no outside connections. I don't... Like, there was one here once, I guess. Was that the entire... Water supply? Now I have an odd number of these. Tell me there's an odd one in here. Somewhere. I don't think there is. It, eh. But, but the 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 what the water though? I need. Mm, I got I got to fix the water. No. Oh, I can't easily. It's really awkward. Like seriously. I can't navigate it around everything. <laughs> maybe, make, yeah, maybe that will be a job for next stream, because I'm looking at this like, I, uh, I don't want to fix this. That's so much effort. No. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to leave it. Sod it. I'll take your advice. Fix the water next time. How did I even break it? I don't even know. Oh, maybe it came from the water pump up there, and it's been gone since I built the ear, and I haven't made anything out of concrete since I built the ear? Holy crap. And yet now I have an odd number of pipes. It's only because I've made a terrible mistake with my life. I need to... Give, give me the... Give me the... Go. Not, not keeping hold of that. Not even between streams. Yeah, just suddenly I can't even... It's terrible. Uh, yeah, I completely lost track of whatever else I was talking about now. I have no idea what were the Volcanoids, more games, playing games, video games, making videos, also more streams. Um, if you want to vote on the Patreon poll, it closes within 48 hours. So if you want to do that, you've got to do that now. There are four games to choose from. I'm going to, I'm going to be, uh, I'm going to tell you secrets. I'm going to tell you what the four games up for grabs are, which, uh, and which one I will... Um, like, the, what games are up for grabs for me to stream at some point in the future? So the vote is between Kerbal Space Program, Faster Than Light, um, Opus Magnum, and Spin Tires Mud Runner. It's currently very, very close between two particular games. Take guesses to which you'll probably guess correctly. Um, particular favourites of, of the viewers over, over the years. And, uh, and yeah, so whichever one wins, I will stream in the next couple of weeks. That is the plan. Um, I'll probably make it like a proper full four-hour one, though I can't guarantee. I may end up, end up with it being two. Um, but I may do four. And if I enjoy the stream, and if other people enjoy the stream, I may carry on doing it. It's a kind of way of having a neat Patreon reward, but also potentially bringing in cool older games that people might actually want to see me stream. If the stream goes well, I stream more of the game. That's how YouTube works. So yeah, those are the options. Patrons can vote on which one, and only one can be played on stream until I put up another poll in a couple of months for old games again in which I give them another chance. So yeah, go if you want to go vote there, go vote there, and one of those will win, and I'll stream that next week. Probably next week. I shouldn't say next week, because I don't know if that's actually going to be true. Someone's guessed right. <laughs>
of which one it's a, a very close race between. It's one vote, last I checked. Faster than Kerbal Space Magnum. Colon Mudrunner. <laughs> yes, I do need sleep. It is... Oh, damn, it's past 1am. Yeah, I need to go. I definitely need to go. Uh, so yeah, where you'll see me in the coming days, weeks, months, uh, more videos of Satisfactory, Factory Town, um, Kingdoms and Castles, and probably a return of Vulcanoid, maybe other stuff as well, who knows, don't know. Uh, there's probably going to be a Barrow Trauma stream on Saturday, or maybe something else, I don't know, depends on how that goes. And uh, then on Sunday, I will be on Roll for it, uh, in Masks Storm Force for episode 18. We're getting towards the end now. The end of that show is nigh. It's, uh, it's gonna be interesting. I'm, my character's very close to death at this point, and it's not gonna get any better anytime soon. I think. Uh, it depends. It entirely depends on what happens. Things could suddenly go very fast, depending on, on how, on what decisions are made, and what roles happen next episode. And onwards from that, more streams on potentially Mondays and Thursdays. I seem to be doing better at delivering the Thursday stream than I am at the Monday stream, because usually by Monday I'm shattered from uh, all of the RPG stuff that happens on the weekend, and so I end up just not doing the Monday stream sometimes, and sometimes I do do it. We'll see how it goes. Maybe there will be one next time. I don't know. Um, also, if the sleep schedule that I'm trying to impose on myself holds up, the stream times may end up moving to earlier points in the day, like 6pm to 8pm and things like that, rather than the 10pm to midnight they currently are. Maybe I'll move one of them and not the other or something. Experiment with the with with the options and see what I, I do there. We'll see what happens. Uh, I will announce, of course, the streams when they happen. Maybe even ahead of time, if I'm feeling uh, exciting. <laughs> We'll see how it goes, but I'll try and, and keep up the, the good work and and do better on the bad work. Uh, but yes, at this point, I run over here to visually signal to, to future Bentham that this is the part where I talk about what's needed to be done next episode. We need to fix the water supply for concrete. There isn't one. Don't even know how that happened, but it did. There is no water for concrete. Please fix that, future Bentham. Also, uh, then carry on heading out to the east with the artillery train to take out those biters. They are wrecking the wall, so it is an urgent job that needs to be done before they break through it and terrorize uh, inside our defenses. So, no pressure. And then, fix trains. Fix the trains. Probably tear out the smelting area, build it somewhere else, and then build new stations in the place of the smelting area so that we actually have room for queuing and trains not getting in each other's way so much because it's a pain. And there we go. Those are the tasks for for future Bentham. Why Mondays, Mondays and Thursdays? Because I felt like those were good times. Because I like it's all based around the fact that I'm streaming on Saturday, like set, always. So I wanted at least uh, two days between each stream. So two days from Saturday on either side is Thursday and Monday. I thought I'd try something Monday, because often on Monday I wouldn't have anything queued up for videos yet, because uh, the stream, uh, the roll for it stuff would have kept me busy, and so usually my backlogs run out by the, by Monday, and so it's good to just be able to stream and, and immediately produce something, rather than faff about making videos, because that takes more time. Potentially. In a weird way. It depends. Oh, and uranium mining in the east would also be wonderful if that is something I could do. We'll see how that goes. Find uranium. That is also a task. Though, there's not much I can do about that. Apart from try and explore more, I suppose. Exploring is how you find things, funnily enough. <laughs> so yeah, those, those are my streaming times. We'll see how they hold up. If they continue, they're sort of half holding up. I'm trying to make them more solid. The more I talk about them being solid, the more I'll feel held to them because everyone will know they exist. So maybe that's a way of going about it. Just say, hey, I stream on Mondays and Thursdays at 10 p.m. But I might change that now so I don't actually know if that's what it's going to be. We'll see. We'll work it out. I don't know. I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to go to bed. Holy crap, we only lost 58 frames this entire stream. What? Is my internet fixed? What even? How? How is this possible? How have I lost no frames? What? That's never happened before. 0.0%. 0 .0%, 59 frames is so few of the frames that it's 0.0%. .0 Amazing. Wonderful. Maybe my internet's fixed itself then. That would be awesome. 
Oh yeah, future Bentham. Did the uh, did the sleep cycle hold up? Tell me it did, please. Please let me believe in you. I have hope. Don't do this to me, future Bentham. Please. Future Bentham is currently watching this going, You did this to yourself! Oh dear. Alright, I'm going to end it here. And so yeah, if I go to bed immediately, the stream probably won't be up at all tonight. It'll be up in the morning. But those are the sacrifices that must be made. <laughs> oh no, you mentioned it. Next stream will be 67% dropped. If it's 67% dropped, that's not a stream. That's a slideshow. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm going to end it here. So, we, we know what we must do next stream. And you know when you will see me next. Probably. There'll, there'll probably be a satisfactory up tomorrow. We'll see how it goes. Maybe I won't because the stream will be up then. Uh, whatever. I'll work something out. I'll decide how I'm doing it, and we'll see if there's more other games to come soon. But that is where we'll finish it for today, so I shall say goodbye. Thank you very much for watching, and of course for the many Super Chats. There were a lot today. I very much appreciate it. It definitely helps me to to, to do this, and I, I will definitely do more Ribbon World streams if people particularly like those. But thank you very much for watching, and for the Super Chats, and for being YouTube members, and for being patrons, and all that good stuff. And of course, just thank you for watching in the first place, because that in itself is uh, an awesome thing, too. And, uh... I shall see you next time.